Hello everybody, my name is Grovana and welcome to another episode of Skyrim Sinner Treasures. Happy Wednesday to you all. A lot of you suggested that I should do Bloated Man's Grotto, and I don't know if you guys know this, but I have done every single quest and side quest in the entire game, including all the DLCs. Um, however, I'm not talking about miscellaneous quests, I'm talking about all unique quests and side quests. Anything that appears in your journal, such as the Dark Brotherhood Forever, however you cannot complete that. Uh, see everything down here I've already completed, it goes down for forever. Um, Except for miscellaneous quests, because I don't really count those as quests. Anyways, a lot of you suggested I should go to Bloated Man's Grotto, which I'm here uh, right now. And someone also said that this has to do with Ill Met by Moonlight, which is a Daedric quest. So obviously I have completed this place. However, apparently there is a unique sword inside that can um, be glitched and you can't find it. However, if you wait a month of in-game time, and I did this very early, you can get it. So we're going to revisit this area, not only because it's awesome looking, and some of you may have not seen it, but we're going to try and go look for the Oath Blade, which is a, uh, a unique sword that I don't have in my possession. So by the way, um, last episode I didn't show you where Moss Mother Cavern was. It's right here. White Run is over here, just as a uh, reference point moss mother cavern is here and bloated man's grotto is right here and it doesn't say cleared so we can clear it too um so yeah without further ado welcome to another episode of scram and treasures let's do bloated man's grotto now this is uh you know it has to do with the ill met by moonlight quest like i said which is a day jerk quest for here scene or her kind i'm not sure how to pronounce it i think it's here scene um, and I've already done that quest, so I've already been here, which is a Skyrim's Hidden Treasures first, usually it's places I haven't been, but there's a unique weapon I haven't gotten, so we're going to try and retrieve it, because I want all the unique weapons in this entire game. Look at that, that's amazing, you don't see anything like that in Skyrim usually. We got some cave bears here. Get the hell out of my- Wow. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but he just keeled over and died there, that's because, uh, I'm using, uh, the What's it called? Uh, the oh wow, I can't Mayroon's razor, duh. Yeah, this uh, blade was actually in Oblivion. A lot of you probably know that as a DLC that you could download, and uh, it has a chance of instantly killing enemies, which is why these bears have so much health. Yet they're dying uh, seemingly randomly. Also, I'm doing barely any damage because I reset my. Come on, it never lets me do uh do what i want to do in terms of uh shouts whoa why why is it saying i can't use these that's weird Soltaire should be activated you cannot change shouts while shouting yeah there's like a glitch on my character it's not letting me do shouts anymore for some reason what, what else is new in terms of skyrim and glitches Come on, bear, fall! Bastard. Oh god, that thing is scary as fuck. Okay. We're going to use some potions here. Which I've, like, never had to do on this character. I really need to respect this character because, uh... You know, like I said, I made some of these skills legendary and I'm not doing, like, any damage whatsoever. Do I have any perks? No, I don't. Shit. This is gonna be hard. So I'm assuming the old plate is gonna be at the end of this dungeon, just in like a chest. I don't think it's situated anywhere special. Um, I must have missed it the last time. But I don't think it was there. I think I looted the chest, it just wasn't there. Because like I said, on the wiki it says that it's glitched. And sometimes uh, you may not be able to find it. But if you wait a month of in-game time, you should be. And I've done so much stuff on this character, I'm sure it's been a month already. Um, so hopefully it'll be here. And hopefully we'll be able to, we will be able to claim it. So we've got a Grand Soul Gem that's not filled here. We've got a Shrine of Talos, which I don't want to activate just in case... I, um, oh, there it is. Okay, Bolar's Writ. Let's see what this says. To he who finds this, know that I, Aculus Bolar, last of the blades to survive the attack on Cloud Ruler Temple, took refuge here in this ancient sanctuary. The Thalmor have come for me, but they shall not desecrate this place. I go forth to meet my death with honor. If you are worthy, take up my blade and do the same. I like to think that I am worthy, and here we have Bolar's Oath Blade, valued at 10,014 gold. Let's see what this baby does. 
Balar's Oath Blade. Damage 15, does 31 points of stamina damage. Con uh, creatures and people up to level 15 flee from combat for 30 seconds. Not something I would ever use. Ooh, it was one-handed. That's cool. Actually, I might just use that in my left hand. Anything's better than the Blade of Woe. Uh, let's try it out on this bear here. Flea bear! Okay, bear's too powerful for terror. I guess he's not going to be flea. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the power of Soul Tear. Ooh, we've just contracted Bone Break Fever. Gross. Hopefully, we have a potion of cure disease. There we go. We've got a chest here. Garnet Gold Lock Pick. Potion of Vigorous Healing. I mean, there's no way I could have missed that the first time. That's very odd. It must have just not been here. We've got another bear, it looks like. Oh, it's a saber cat. Get out of here. Man, our one-handed skill is raising like crazy. As you can see, I've switched back to the uh, Nightingale armor just because it's the fucking coolest armor you'll ever get in Skyrim, isn't it? Huh, I guess when you enter this with, um, during the, whatchamacallit quest, the Ill-Met Ill -met by Moonlight, uh, it's just like it makes it only towards that quest and it, I guess it takes out a lot of the stuff because I don't remember this place looking like this and I don't even think you can go through the whole dungeon. I may be wrong. Brigands. Oh, really? A cheap spriggan motherfucker. Oh, nice. Okay. I don't think this is a big dungeon. Or it's not even a dungeon. It's an open area location here. Does it just circle around? We got another cave bear. These cave bears are being a pain in my ass. Get out of here. Ooh, more bone break fever. Awesome. Alright, we're gonna get out of here before we use another potion of uh, cure disease just in case we contract another bone break fever. Got some wolves here. Okay, those are the most oblivious wolves of all time. Come on, use the shout. God. This glitch is fucking annoying as shit. Luckily, I have many, many, many stamina, so I can use a lot of power attacks. Don't use your healing thing. Oh, you cheap bitch. Oh, God. Okay. That was tough. That was tough. Um, that was the clearing noise. Looks like we cleared it. Could have just went right, I guess, from the get-go. Or could we? What just happened to me? What is this, invisible... I can't pass this point. What the hell? Wow, seriously? What? Not cast! It's not letting me, it's like an invisible wall here, but for what reason? I don't understand. There's a rabbit there. Well, this is a Skyrim first. Uh... Okay, that's odd. Well, I'll see you guys when I uh, get back to the entrance, because it looks like I'm going to have to go back all the way around. Alright guys, I'm back at the entrance. For some reason I couldn't pass this. I wonder if I can go through here now. Okay, so there's an invisible barrier there for some reason. That's very odd. Um, yeah, so we got the Oath Blade. That seems to be pretty much it. It's kind of like a little glen area with a whole bunch of bears and spriggans. One of my favorite places in Skyrim, you know, whenever they do stuff like that, which they don't do it often, the, one of them I can remember is like where you have to go kill a, uh, a giant and he's in there. He's in like a place like that where it's like an open area cave type deal. Um, that was Skyrim's Hidden Treasures for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are looking forward to Let's Play Skyrim Episode 11 coming up Friday. Hope you guys are enjoying the Resident Evil Revelations gameplay walkthrough, Let's Play, whatever you want to call it. My name's Grovana, of course, and have a great day, guys. Bye.